You know what time it is. Dev chat time. So I don't know if you know, but the last time I gave all y'all party people a challenge, you smashed it. You wanted to know what my ideal, perfect life simulation game would look like, and I told you all about it. With that being said, let's do this again, shall we? If we get 500 likes on this video, then I'll make a video based on whatever comment has the most likes. Okay? Okay. Let's get straight to the good good. Our first general question is about a Patreon benefit from the Legend tier. A reward you get with Legend is that there's a character created based on you. If you're a part of this tier, you'll be able to play as your character during early access. Here's another question about the Patreon rewards. If you have the Legend tier, will you still get the name of randomly generated townie or pet reward from the Hero tier? And the answer is... Drumroll please. Yes. If you're in the Legend tier, you'll have a character created based on a reference photo that you send them. Which doesn't have to be a para, it could be a cat or dog, and you'll be able to name a randomly generated townie or pet. Currently, game settings will be the same throughout all of your saved games. Alex says that they're going to try to improve this eventually, since some settings might be best changed for one specific saved game. Let's talk about live mode. And yes, I say live mode, not live mode. I don't judge you if you say live mode, so don't judge me if I say live mode. Dance animations are complicated to create. That's why it's not a priority, but it would be great to have in-game. Personally, I do hope to see paras dancing together and not just dancing separately beside each other. The devs aren't sure how many locations there will be for the adult tango. If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. I enjoy the idea of having different categories or filters for the food that you can cook from the fridge. That way it'd be easier to access vegetarian or vegan meals, or even simply if you just want to look at the desserts. Illness is still a hot topic in the Paralives community. We know that they're going to be keeping it simple. Maybe something like a common cold or food poisoning. Then maybe you could take a sick day or go see a doctor. Who knows? But I know a lot of people have many different ideas on how they should tackle illnesses. And I just want to say, they're working on it, okay? This is a very cool idea. The idea is that the player can set times for their para's careers. However, this is probably not going to be the case. If you want a particular job schedule, you're going to have to find one that fits in with what you want it to be. There's a possibility that certain jobs could offer day or night shifts, which is pretty cool. I like that idea. Having options is good. Next will be the questions, answers, and ideas for build mode. Townhouses will be on different lots and will be played by different families. You won't be able to play with all of the families at once. I like the sound of that. In The Sims 4, if you wanted a row of townhouses, they all have to be in the same household and the same lot. And sometimes that works out, but most of the time it doesn't because The Sims don't respect boundaries. Come on, Sally. This is your neighbor's house. Not your house. Don't go in their bathroom to wash your dishes. That's why I think this way of doing it is brilliant. If your para lives in an apartment, they're going to be paying month to month instead of paying all at once when they move in. You probably won't be able to change the structure of the apartment building either. You will be able to apply different floorings or wallpapers to different sections of a room. Currently, walls can have different thicknesses on a per wall basis but the team isn't sure if this feature will be kept. This is a good time to point out that Paralives is still in early development. I like to think of these dev chats as a brainstorming sesh, since elements talked about can be changed, improved, or be removed altogether. Okay, going back to the walls. There will be options in the mod system that are more related to the minimum, maximum, default values of them. I think I can speak for many builders when I say module furniture is the best. Especially if they link and lock on to each other. Right now, the module couch that we saw in the Wholesome Direct event video last year doesn't lock on to the other pieces. You'd have to move each piece individually. It'd be nice to see module furniture like countertops, shelving, cat climbing shelves or trees, or wardrobes. 
I think all of those items would be very cool to have in game as module pieces. Moving on to the Paramaker Tings. Clothing will not have different textures, no matter if they're tucked in or not. It might be something that is added in later, or maybe not. This isn't really a big issue for me, if they decide to not add in the additional textures. The outfit system is still in the works. It would be nice to have it so that you can choose some clothing or accessories that you can put over or in place of the casual outfit for your cold weather outfit or hot weather outfit. For example, you could choose a coat to go over your normal outfit. But yeah, keep in mind that this is still in the works. You can have a three color rainbow hair. There isn't a specific plan regarding maternity clothing. This is because the pair of folk are made to have very different body types and their clothing adapt and stretch accordingly. Our final category for today will be art. How will the environment look? What sort of vegetation will there be? Well, it depends on the setting and what sort of style they decide to go for. I think it's interesting that Chloe pointed out that some plants can grow in different regions of the world. Her example was that cherry trees are prominent in Japan, but they can also grow in Canada and other countries. Either way, they want to be able to offer as much as possible, but at the end of the day, it may be affected by the setting that they end up choosing. There's been a ton of tests to help improve the art style of the environment, mainly for furniture and building elements. After all those tests, they've confirmed that they're pretty set with the style that they're going for. With that being said, they're still building furniture and clutter items. There's also going to be a showcase house for us. I don't know when, but that is going to be a thing. Another thing that they've been working on has been vegetation. It seems like creating vegetation is a balancing act. They want it to look good, but without causing any issues for the players and their computers. That's it, everyone. Was there anything from this dev chat that stood out to you? Let me know what it was in the comments. I'm always curious about what stands out to everyone else. For example, this dev chat has been a good reminder of how townhouses will work, and I cannot wait to build a row of townhouses. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please don't forget to actually like the video and subscribe for future Paralives dev chats. Thank you again. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!